I, I just, uh, I just said uh, what Libre Italia Association uh, is and what uh, we do in Italy. So uh, we can start uh, and uh, we can introduce uh, um, a happy history of uh, um, another migration project, another uh, successful Italian uh, migration project. And the protagonist of this uh, history is Manuel. Manuel is a deaf person who work uh, into Italian Public Institute for Deaf People and in Rome. And he is uh, an IT specialist and a nerd. <laughs> he is a nerd. Unfortunately, uh, he is uh, uh, an open source uh, software fan. So, uh, Manuel is also a brave art. So, <laughs> he decided uh, about two years ago to migrate uh, the 60 uh, desktops uh, in, this, uh, in, the, in the Institute to OpenSUSE and LibreOffice. Um, he didn't explain to the colleagues uh, the reasons uh, of the migration. Uh, Manuel said to them, we have to migrate. And so uh, the resistance to change uh, um, is very, very high. And uh, the, the migration proje project uh, uh, didn't work. So, uh, Dora, uh, a, a member uh, of uh, our association, uh, had an idea. Uh, she, she asked them to support Manuel and to help the migration project. Uh, she, she wrote us an email and uh, she, she asked uh, uh, a meeting uh, with uh, Manuel and other colleagues. Last December, Emma and I uh, went to the Italian Deaf Institute to meet uh, Manuel, Dora, and uh, Francesca, uh, who works uh, in the Institute. And uh, we, we went uh, uh, to, uh, to plan the activities uh, necessary to support the, proje the project. And we decided that uh, uh, it was necessary an agreement uh, between uh, Libre Italia Association uh, and uh, uh, the Institute uh, to help them uh, with a specific project. On the 29th of January, uh, I signed an agreement with uh, Professor Spano, the director of the Institute, uh, who was very happy <laughs> to save uh, the cost of the licenses. And uh, uh, he was uh, happy um, to have the opportunity to avoid the discontent among uh, uh, employees. Um, good morning, let me introduce because I'm not informatics, so I'm not tactic, sorry. Um, I'm a researcher in um, health and um, security at work. My focus are on the impact of ICT and social media in lifestyle. And I'm Libertalia volunteers. Uh, why we decide to do these activities with deaf people? First, because Manuel, just decided to migrate the institute, but he needs help because he made it alone. So his colleagues don't really understand the meaning and the importance of the reason to migrate. For this reason, we decide to make an infographic about the most major 10 points reason to understand why we had to choose LibreOffice in this case but the infographic was written uh, in collaboration with deaf people because um, yesterday we talked about uh, the different way of inclusion uh, also 
people who has different needs or um, just not only needs, but we can say it's different abilities, skills. And in this case, for deaf people, we had to know, for example, that the way of learn is different from us. Because um, they, ha uh, they have uh, another type uh, of mental process uh, to understand uh, the meaning of the words, for example. For this reason, we decided to not use uh, acronyms because they don't really understand the meaning of the acronyms. We decided to don't use technical words or English expression that are really common immigration project we know. Because for, uh, for them, for Italian community of death, that, that will be a problem of communication. So they can understand the real meaning of the words. And so we decided to make this infographic with them. Yeah. First of all, we decided with Sonia to play in a seminar to all the people who, are work, who work in the Institute to speak about uh, the reason and the importance uh, of the immigration project. Uh, and uh, we asked for uh, make them uh, with uh, an interpreter. So we make the seminar because we don't know <laughs> the language of sign. And we make the seminar with a person try to speak with them and try to make the communication more, how we can say, it's, uh, more easy, more friendly for them. Then we decided to make the training course. Not only for the employees, but we decided to make a team of deaf trainers inside the institute so that it could be more easy for them to collaborate together and to make strange relationships. And all the materials that we have done for this project was made with the collaboration of the people who are, were working in the institute because we need, how we can say, this uh, cultural uh, translator. So we organized the training about uh, the LibreOffice suite, and then we decided to deliver to the participant a certificate, a certificate of the trainer. About this, uh, I'd like to say, for example, that mm, the way of learning of deaf people is different. For example, there are a lot of deaf people who are IT specialists, but they have problem to pass the exam for the certificate. Why? Because the format uh, of question are written not in a, um, how we can say, it's a friendly communication for them. They have problem with acronyms. They have problem with some specific and technical words that they can understand because, uh, yeah? Negative expression. Yeah, negative expression, for example, because their way of learning and their way of speaking is really different from us. And so, for example, even if they are really good IT specialists, they can take the certificate in general. First goal, Manuel was not alone anymore. Now in the Institute, he has a team of trainer who can help him and they can work together so they can make a team, a community, about the importance and the development of the project. What we are planning more with them, we decided to write a guide, a land guide, we can say, for trainers, uh, for deaf people, to try to communicate to the deaf community the correct way to make immigration, for example, because in Italy we have a great community of deaf people. I don't know if you know mm, the statistic about the deaf people, but in Europe, for example, we have also cause to the problem at work a lot of people who lose their, um, their way, their capability to understand. And so it would be 
a community that is not included, for example, in our project and who can't use the software because, for example, they can understand a lot of things. So we decided to make with them a guide. Then we are going to translate, as Sonia says before, the e-learning courses that uh, was done with the Italian Defense Project also in, the, in language for deaf people. First, because also in uh, Italian Defense, there are people who work and who is deaf. And then because we, as we, are, we, were, talking, we were talking yesterday, uh, for us, inclusion is also um, something that can make uh, um, a great community and the diversity is not something less, but is something more. So we can work with diversity to make all our activities more important for our people. And for this reason, we, create, we are also creating a contact between uh, the Italian Defense Ministry and the Public uh, uh, Institute for Deaf People in Rome to make other activities together. Because, for example, um, as Libre Italia, we um, plan a lot of uh, meeting in the school, for example, and it would be um, interesting to make them together also for, for example, school for deaf people and school for deaf children. But why we are pushing about this kind of, tic of, of activities? First, because openness um, is not only about a project, it's a cultural way of thinking, it's a cultural way of life. And so for us, inclusion is how we can say it's the first step, because diversity is not only how we can say it's a needs or something to respect for the law, because now, yesterday we talked about gender diversity. There is a fashion mood in this last 10 years about the importance of gender diversity, balance the diversity of women and include, in, try to make more inclusion for uh, um, people who different needs and in a lot of countries it's made by the law for us diversity is a value and so true openness and true also the way of life of the community we can do it we can do it uh, in a way that is more friendly and who, who we can say it's also more useful for uh, other community. So it's a real right thing that we can realize. It is a practical thing, not only to, to speak. I like an expression. I usually say that um, I'm not talk a lot. We prefer to do. And this is the reason for example, that's why we prefer to go into the school to speak with the children and to try to implement and to explain the importance of openness and of LibreOffice project, for example, in this way. Um, I want to thank, thank you, you, Listen, but also for all the volunteers uh, who are working at the project, and we, will, we would like uh, to show you how we collaborate uh, with the, the institute and how and what Manuel and uh, Francesca and Dora have created uh, for us and for this project because all the materials uh, were done with them. Um, I want to just make you a point that uh, um, we asked to make a video about the history of the project from their points of view. The video uh, we decided to make without uh, audio. But we...
Thank you. That's all. Thank you.